Hello, how are you doing? This is Stephen from Ask One Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a workflow in Deploy Studio. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is uh, launch Deploy Studio Admin. And um, you'll get this dialog box. Now, what I do, I work for an educational institution and I have uh, external drives with server app uh, installed in Deploy Studio with all my images on there. And I go th to through, you know, I image a bunch of labs in different buildings with different IP addresses, different VLANs, different IP addresses. So basically, I just uh, copy and paste the IP address here in the server address. So there's two places you can grab your IP address real quick is you can go up here to the Apple in the upper left hand corner, click that and go to system preferences and then go to your network. And then it says IP address. Just, uh, you can highlight and hit Command C to copy, or you can come uh, launch your server app and uh, uh, and go to your network here. And you can highlight highlight there and hit Command C to copy. Also, collapse that. Then what you need to do is click right before the colon, before the port number here, and just highlight and then hit delete and then hit command V to paste in and uh, then put your username mine's ask one Mac tech and then your password and then if you want to you know, if you wanted to remember your password just click this uh, little button here to remember in your keychain hit connect and then we're logged in and then we want to uh, come right over here to the left where it says workflows click that okay so by default, Deploy Studio puts in uh, create a master from a volume, okay? Now this is highlighted, so this is a workflow, okay? This is a workflow created. Uh, this install package, I'm not going to explain that because I haven't used that yet. Uh, restore a master on a volume, I have used this. Uh, this is a workflow that's already pre-created. And uh, triple OS restoration, I uh, haven't used this yet, so I'm not going to explain that. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a restore uh, restore workflow. So what we need to do is come down here to the plus sign, okay? Right down here to the plus sign, hit plus, click the plus, and then right up here it'll say work, workflow five, six, seven. Now you might have more workflows in there, but we're just going to highlight it, and we're going to hit delete, and we're going to rename it. So I'm just going to rename it uh, Mac Lab Seven and uh, click it and see how it's empty there's no workflow in there so we're going to create a restore workflow so what we need to do is hit the plus sign right here and we're going to get this little window that opens up to the left here and we're going to scroll down we're going to look for the restore icon here let's look for that and there it is right here restore restore a disk image to a specific partition or disk so we're going to we're going to click and drag it in and drop it into task here, just like that. Okay, click and drag. And then we can start creating our workflow. So here it says target volume. I usually just put first disk available. Okay, you'll see this in the runtime. You'll, you'll see you'll see how the, all this works. Uh, HFS. Okay, if you remember, the HFS is where all the images are, are stored. So I'm going to come over here to my data drive. And here's my image folder and go to master HFS and I have an image because I imaged my iMac here and here's the images so you might have a huge list like I work for an educational institution so I have a huge list and for you know this is just for home so I don't got that much but uh, you might have a huge list um, but that's where they're stored and we want to keep it here for HFS for the image because that's the folder and we're going to click here and see how I, my image pops right up we're going to click that all right and then for HFS only option rename volume 2 you can put anything you want in here you can put Mac underscore HD you can put anything Macintosh HD whatever you like for the uh, boot, boot volume um, here don't check registration faster I leave all these checked Rename uh, by host press, restore system recovery partition, yes. Uh, erase target for block 
copy registration faster, clean machine dependent files and caches, clean up machine dependent files and caches. Leave all this uh, checked. If you want to do multicast, um, I think it's not working right now. Um, I would have to double check, but because uh, what was it, a couple weeks ago, I tried to do a multicast and uh, the triggers weren't working. I think we had four, four to five max, and uh, they just weren't starting up. So, um, but multicast basically is where you um, you set this up, you enable multicast, and uh, you can start up triggers. Is your clients say you have a Mac Lab of uh, I don't know, 40 IMAX in there and you want a trigger to start uh, imaging your lab so say you want four four max once once you net booted and started and you have four max ready to go and you hit the, pl uh, the play on the, the deploy studio runtime they all should sim simultaneously start at the same time then you can start imaging all, all your max and uh, that is multicast and it'll it'll, it'll um, and if you don't use multicast, you use up a lot of bandwidth on your network. Uh, a lot of data be going through there, and uh, it could slow down a lot of stuff. So, uh, especially your server, um, use multicast to even out the bandwidth, and uh, you can uh, uh, image your Macs a lot better. So basically, I'm gonna just click that, enable it and um, add a generic BCD Vista or later now I don't use that expand restore and I don't use that either set the default startup volume yes you can so when it restarts it, it uh, sets the the newly imaged boot volume to start up from that and if you wanted to automate just click to automate just like that so we're not going to click that because I'm going to show you how this works and I'm not going to click the automate but you can but we're going to hit save okay so let me go through this one more time so I don't, I don't want to go through it too fast because I know people can get confused. Uh, this is our workflow. This is the name of our workflow, Mac Lab 7. Okay, you can name it anything you want. Okay, uh, target volume. After you find the icon here, restore, you drag and drop it here. And then you want to go here to target volume, first disk available. Just select that. Image. This is the folder where your images are stored, HFS. You can rename your volume, anything you want. It could be Macintosh HD, Mac HD. It can be uh, anything. Um, leave all this default, okay? Just leave it all by default. If you're going to use multicast, you can enable that. Hit the triggers for and timeout. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's say, I don't know. Uh, three minutes, you know, any anything you want. You don't want it to time out too early, then it times out. But we're not going to use this feature. Um, I would leave, if you're going to use it for Vista or later or restore uh, NTFS volume like Boot Camp, um, click these, but I don't use them. Set your mass, um, your boot. This is my boot drive right here. You can, after your image, you want to set its default to start up. You can click that, or if you don't want to, you don't have to, but usually people do. And you can have all this automated. So you can click this, and this will all be automated. When you click the play button on runtime, it'll log in, boom, boom, and it's ready to go. So we're going to hit save. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come out of Deploy Studio. We're going to log out, quit that, and then we're going to go to runtime. Now here, usually on my uh, on my uh, my server where I work uh, we have you know it has a static IP and everything and we do all the imaging there uh, this would be a static IP and this will automatically log in which you would create that when you create your netboot set okay you would have your your address your IP address and your username your password and this would all log on when, once you get that end key on your client machine it would automatically log in so let me grab or let me copy or let me highlight this and paste in my IP address. Since I'm at home, this ain't going to automate in. And let me put my password. And username, password, and I'm going to log in. Okay, so now do you see Mac Lab 7? We just created that workflow right here. Okay, we just created that workflow in. Deploy Studio Admin. 
Let me show you that after. We're going to hit the play button. And it's get it's ready to go, man. It's like, what am I gonna do, man? Show me what to do. Hit the play. So it's gonna pick the first disc. So I have boot camp and I have Mac HD. I'm not gonna image my Mac, but if I was going to, I would hit Mac HD. And then it has this image, and the rename volume is Mac HD. And if I want to enable multicast, I could. If I want to automate, if I, in the workflow, if I enabled it, this would be grayed out. Um, but I'm not going to do that. And all you do is hit play. And then it would take that image and re-image my Mac HD drive. And that's all it is. That's all you have to do. Okay? So that's, that's, um, that's how a workflow is created. And uh, let me log back into here. And compare them for you because I know that people can get really confused and we compare them okay so we got the target volume disk this is the target volume disk right here well first it's available since I have two you can pick one um, okay here's the image I only have one image on this on this uh, external drive, but uh, you can use this one. It's ready to go there. Uh, rename volume. I rename the volume here. There it is. If I wanted to enable multicast, this would have been enabled for for clients for clients. But I click that. And if I wanted to automate it, I could have clicked this and hit save, and all this would have just took off by itself. After I hit the play button, it would have just took off. So that's basically how you create a workflow in Deploy Studio.